Alrighty, and now it's time to record the reading on the full moon and the lunar eclipse. Full, yeah, full moon and lunar eclipse. Uh... I just recorded uh, an, an, a channeling, an energy channeling thingy about uh, about that on the uh, full moon and the lunar, the full moon, full lunar eclipse. Uh, I'll put a link in uh, in the description box so if you want to watch that, it can give some extra information that can be helpful during this reading. And uh, I put my uh, two spheres here, one to represent the uh, lunar eclipse and another one to represent the full moon. I actually kind of like that. <laughs> uh, let me quickly show you how I've done my, uh, my, my, how do you call that, my crystal display. Um, with the two swans and the roses, there used to be all rose quartzes tumbles in in there in the middle, in the middle section. But now it's all citrines. I felt I needed that. It had to change for the first. It, it had been rose quartz for over a year. <laughs> Anywho, back to the reading from left to right. One, two, three. All uh, uh, tumbles on the cards on the piles are citrines, different ones at like that, but still. Uh, that's the first one, number one, semi uh, citrine, semi well quartz, I suppose. Uh, number two, and then we have a rough citrine, number three. So please make your choice and try to do that just intuitively. Try, I'm trying to get the light, uh, the glare out of the uh, ready. Um, then we're gonna start the reading. All right, numbers one. We're gonna start. Uh, and just see if you can relate to it at what's uh, with the cards, the what I'm telling you with uh, with what's going on, how you feel at this moment, um, and around the time of the full moon and the lunar eclipse. Uh, first card: surrender to play. Take a break from overthinking a goal. Do something fun. Play is a time of recreation and rejuvenation. So it is important for you to just have fun, unwind, do some playful things, stuff that makes you happy, and uh, yeah, not so much stress and worrying and all that stuff. Why is there glare? I don't like that. <laughs> I got an extra card that is more related to the, um, uh, what the, um, gosh, I have to keep thinking about that word, what the lunar eclipse does, right? So this is more the full moon, and this is specifically uh, to, related to what the uh, lunar eclipse does. And then uh, it says, surrender fear. Let go of the fearful stories you are telling yourself. Stay in the moment. And focus on solutions and celebrate every baby step forward. And uh, yeah, so maybe you've been doing that. Maybe you have been telling uh, fearful stories, negative stories about yourself or a situation or whatever other people. Uh, which is what we tend to do when we are not in a good vibration. <laughs> we get judgmental. <laughs> Most of us anyway. I think everyone. And um so stop doing that, you know, try to be in the now, in the moment, that really helps, absolutely really helps, so um, yeah, and, and, and start telling positive, good stories about yourself and situations that have in your life and other people, and uh, in order to do that, it helps to be more playful and light-hearted, all right, next card, uh, this is from my Moon Oracle deck, the same woman that, who does these um, energy reports on the Moon, on the full Moon that I just uh, recorded, uh, translated in English of course. This is uh, your card, is the Blood Moon card, uh, Wisdom and Sacrifice, Many uh, Look, Few See. That's a good one. Many people look, few people really see. Um, are you acting upon what you see and observe or what you think to see? Also very good, right? Are you seeing the truth? Are you acting upon the truth or on fears maybe? Things you fear to see, you know, yeah might be related to that. 
uh, trust your own wisdom, to connect to your own wisdom and trust your insights. Right? You do have an awful lot of wisdom. I mean, we have that owl here as well. And uh, so this is stuff that you can just think about, that you can ponder. Right? Are you actually really seeing what's going on and, and acting upon that? Or, and reacting to that and, you know, all that stuff? Or are you more uh, tuned into what you think is going on and what you think to see? And often that is uh, not what's happening at all. And that happens especially if we are in fear, when we don't feel good. And, uh, yeah. All right. And then we got my chair there is dropping down. It's having a mind of its own. <laughs> All right, then moving to the next card. Uh, that one. This is about what you're going through right now. More kind of like a life lesson thingy. Uh, I only used uh, major arcana cards for that because that represents major, uh, larger life lessons. Always, right? The major arcana cards. Um, and you have the Empress. So this is about... Um, Creating, I'm trying to get the glare of the card, um, uh, creating being patient. Uh, you, uh, there is something that uh, she's pregnant, right? Uh, you can be pregnant literally, but also with an idea, with a plan, with a goal, a dream. And, um, well, because this is what you are currently going through, you likely are as well. You likely have a plan, a dream, something you really want. And it's taking quite some time. And that's good, right? Like the baby also takes nine months. And you want the baby to be born uh, after, you know, after nine months. So it's complete. It's healthy. It's complete. It's got eyes. It's got ears. It's got cute little fingers and cute little toes. And <laughs> and, and uh, its vocal cords are powerful. So it can scream <laughs> as soon as it's born to units you know, that's healthy for the lungs and etc. You don't. You wouldn't want your child to be born prematurely because then uh, it's going to have a tougher time to uh well to 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 grow and be able to support itself without any help and it goes that that that's uh with babies for real of course but it's also metaphorically uh if you have an idea and a dream and you're working on something you're brooding on something you also wouldn't want to uh, try uh, to birth that I into reality prematurely because then it might not work out at all. Or it might be far harder work to get it to uh, really deliver the goodies that you want. So you have to be patient. That's what you're going through right now. You, you're not, you, you likely aren't ready yet either to uh, deliver to birth this idea. It needs more time and you need more time too. And in the meantime, you can do other things. You can prepare, you can focus on other things like the Empress is spinning, right? And she has to focus on the spinning because spinning is a very uh, meticulous thingy to do. It's not something you can do mindlessly because then you get these these knots, these thicker bits and pieces and thinner bits and pieces in the thread. And then you get, end up with yarn, with thread that is not really all that good. And then if you want to weave a shirt from that, you, it's going to be quite ugly because you have all these thicker and thinner bits and all these bobs in it and stuff, right? You don't want that. So you have to focus on it. You have to pay attention to it. It's hard work, right? So, and she's doing that and she's enjoying that. She knows the baby is going to come at some point. She's trusting in that and so should you. So should you. And in the meantime, do something else. Focus on something else. Do prep work. All right, uh, righty, this is more about you. I only used court cards for this. So all the court cards, pages, knights, queens, and kings. And for you, we have the queen of wands, a very spirited woman, uh, very passionate, fiery, inspired, but also inspirational for others. And uh, very warm and caring. She is that too. And... Uh, yeah, a woman of action wants to do things and uh yeah especially the inspiring this is more how you are 
and that can be in general but it can also be right now in this phase of your life that that is a, a trade that are surfacing uh, quite powerfully at the moment and there's also again a bit of a playful side because I yeah you can see it here is this black cat I don't think it's a full-grown cat it looks more like well in between a kitten and an adult cat and uh, the cat is sitting on the train of her dress and uh, it's almost as if it's playing there and it also means that if she wants to walk away or move or whatever, it's going to be quite difficult because like an adult cat weighs about four kilos. And if this cat is, um, well, semi-adult, <laughs> it likely is still going to weigh two kilos, right? It is quite heavy to drag along on the train of your dress. It might tear. You don't want that. But she's in, in a way okay with it. She, she, I mean, look at her face. The way she's smiling and, and it's playful. Also, that the cat, even the cat wants to be close to her because of her energy. She is exuding this glorious, warm, passionate, but still warm, caring energy. And everyone wants to be close to that. Right? It's, 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 it's great. It's inspiring. It's warming. And yeah. And that's who you are at this moment in time. Yeah. Whether you're a man or a woman, right? This is just more about personalities in that sense. It doesn't, this is not per se women only. Uh, your last cards we have, uh, yeah, I just felt I needed one more card. So this is from the Crystal Angels deck. Angelite, a spiritual and religious community, join with like-minded people for friendship and increased spiritual growth. So um, that might be helpful. During this full moon time, maybe especially um, to get together with people, like-minded people. People who accept you the way you are, love you the way you are, support you the way you are, and vice versa, of course. Um, yeah, that make you feel good. And also, especially, I feel people who don't expect, demand, need, want anything from you. Not right now. You, I don't think you want that right now. It's not what you need right now. You might want just a bit of a break in that sense, right? You, you know these people who really are your tribe? I always speak about my tribe, but you can also call it sisterhood when you're a woman. Um, uh, where you can just be, where you can just let it all hang out, even when you're having a bad habit, even when you're PMSing. <laughs> I just, just, just plonk your ass down and just... Puh. And you're still being accepted and liked and loved and maybe loved, I mean, and, and maybe you you actually, because of that, are going to have a great time and a good laugh. You know, so that's you could need that during this time of the uh, leading up to the full moon and shortly thereafter, possibly as well. So um, this is your reading for the numbers one. Damn, again, it took me 15 minutes almost. I always try to do it faster. It never works out. <laughs> Anyhow, I hope you enjoyed it. And please leave me some feedback. Like it and subscribe if you haven't done that yet. And if you like my style, my readings. And then I'm going to move to the numbers two. Numbers two. Welcome to your read. Let's start right away. This is your crystal. I, won't, I hope you didn't see it there. Yeah. Uh, well, let's leave it there. Anyhow, surrender to complete healing. This is for you concerning uh, um, uh, the full moon mostly. Uh, so from now leading up to it and, uh, and shortly thereafter. Surrender to complete healing. Open fully to the loving, compassionate forces of the universe that support your physical, emotional and spiritual healing. So this is important to you. You likely will need that. Then another card from the same deck, deck and that is more uh, concerning the total lunar eclipse. Surrender your attachment to results. The formula for success is to do all that you can to make things happen and then to let go of the results. And holding on too tightly to a desired outcome can sabotage it. And that's really true, you know, because you then... 
basically that is a message uh, sending the message to the uh, universe that you don't trust that it's going to come so you do everything you can do so that uh, you know to make it happen and then let go of of it then let go of it and um yeah because that's that tells the universe that you trust you really have to believe and trust like i've done it and now it's gonna come now the uh, the universe is gonna bake it and it's gonna finish it and <laughs> and when it's done baking it will come to me you know you have to really believe and trust and then it will actually really work as well so that is important uh, this is something especially concerning the uh lunar eclipse if you want to know more about the all the in energetic stuff concerning the full moon and the lunar eclipse please and listen to my other um uh, clip that i just recorded separately on that uh, i will link to it in the description box as well so you can find it easily um so that might put everything into a bit of more context for you if you find it a bit difficult to you know uh this is from my moon oracle deck uh it's in dutch so i'm gonna translate it this is the harvest moon that you got it's about letting go and immortality what you reap this is stuff for you to uh, think about to ask yourself and then think about it and you know to just contemplate and ponder uh, you will reap what you sow. Which successes have you um, achieved? And what can you harvest? And celebrate the successes that you have uh, gotten. And enjoy the harvest. So apparently there is stuff that you can harvest. And, uh, yeah, that is beautiful. Did you actually know? Did you see that? And also the message, and that is very important as well, that you will reap what you sow. And especially maybe with this result card, if you are trying to uh, bake that cake, right, of success, uh, that's important then, right, that you... Uh, use the right seeds because you will reap what you sow you really will that that goes for everyone not just for you it is true it's just a really true statement so this is just stuff to ponder and think about and moving to your tarot cards um you have the lovers this is the the biggest life lesson that you are currently going through um especially now uh, highlighted with this moon energies um and uh i used only major arcana cards all right for, for every for all the sets and you had the lovers number six i feel this is mostly to do with um getting a balance on the inside between masculine and feminine energies be between action non-action give and take and uh, all that stuff the feminine and masculine and um also with that uh knowing when you have to use mostly the uh, masculine energy which is more about undertaking and doing making decisions taking action or when you have to use more uh, your feminine energy which is more about uh, being passive waiting going with the flow um waiting for things to ripen and tapping into your intuition so you know when the time is right to take to that to then take action right and it doesn't matter whether you're a man or a woman watching we all have both masculine and feminine energies right and they need to be balanced in in the right way uh, so that we can live and lead healthy, balanced lives. And uh, in a way, um, this is what you are currently still working out. And still, I get still. So it's probably something that you have been busy with for quite some time. Maybe not even consciously. But maybe when you, if you think about it, the last couple of months, possibly even longer than that, maybe even years, that you have been working on balancing feminine, masculine energies inside and in your life, not just inside of you, also in your life, I think. 
But yeah, that goes hand in hand. That goes hand in hand. Because if that balance shifts inside of you, you also need it to shift in the environment, in your living environment, in, in, in the environment around you. Otherwise, it doesn't match with you anymore. Right? So maybe there have been changes that had to do with this growth process of yours uh, in in your personal life as well. And that can be... Uh, considering relationships, love relationships, or other relationships, just the same, friendships, families, whatever, and maybe even the type of work you wanted to do. And this is still going on. This could be highlighted now with this full moon even more, that process. Also taking responsibility, taking responsibility, making choices. Yeah, and yeah, it is possible, of course, that... Love relationships are being highlighted for you during this time. But I feel that mostly it is about what I just said. But if you're on balanced on the inside, quite well balanced on the inside in your masculine and feminine energies, love relationships also sh change. The type of person that you want, need in order to be happy is different then as well. So maybe for you, the time now is finally right to have that partner that is a good match for you. Right? Then we go to the next card. Uh, this is more about you personally. So not uh, lessons or a situation or whatever, but more you personally. And I only used the court cards for that. So pages, knights, uh, kings and queens. And uh, you got the page of pentacles. And this is about being, well, quite down to earth. Quite down to earth because it's pentacles, right? Um, but also very enthusiastic, uh, eager to start something new and to also creative. I get a bit of creativity and, um, that, that, the kind of innocence that children can have, right? Even older, slightly older children like her can still have that purity, that, that kind of innocence that is so beautiful. If you observe that, she's got that as well. And that's, you got that too, it's because this is about you. And there is something new that you want to do, that you want to manifest or begin with, start. I feel spring with this uh, for some reason or other. So it, that could be literally in spring, it's going to take off. Or that you, it's the energies of spring where things begin to uh, uh, blossom and gestate and all that you know the, the, these things that happen in in during springtime early spring i get early spring with that um th th those energies or literally that early in spring but it is something new that you want and that you want to start do and you're very enthusiastic about that you're willing to put in uh the time and the energy in that as well and uh yeah, because you're looking forward to it. The the just the source of it just really fills you with joy and and yeah. So that's really wonderful. That's how you are, that's how you feel. Uh the energy you have at the moment. Uh, it, yeah. I don't know. It's I like it. I really like it. It could be that um this is always you, but I think it's more this phase in your life, like this is your energy. During that phase in your life. Yeah, I don't know why I drew that. Because that's not really per, per se related to only the full moon. Maybe for you it is. That you, you now, because of the full moon energy, start to feel this way. And, and suddenly feel that inspiration. And start to feel really good. And feel all the things that I just mentioned. Right? That is possible as well. I mean, I did, didn't draw that for nothing. There is a reason for it. And then your last card. We have a citrine. Whoa. We have this. It was all citrine. That was all I had. <laughs> Anyhow, unnecessary worries. Release the burden of worries by giving them to God for healing and solutions. It's also self esteem and, and having that inspiration and that spark. And it's a solar plexus stone, and so is the, uh, the pentacles. It's also to do with the solar plexus, actually. Yeah, third chakra 
on the stomach area. There's a lot to do with ego, healthy ego, balanced ego. There we have it again, that balance. And uh, yeah, feeling good, not worry too much. And if you do have any worries, and 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 uh, then just release them, just give them to the angels of God or uh, the spirits of nature, and uh, yeah, just let them go and focus on positive things, on positive vibrations and and positive stuff. There is this dove there. I hope you can see that in the uh, in the recording. And maybe carrying a citrine with you at this moment might be helpful for you. So it could be that during this full moon and uh, the lunar eclipse, you will have some stuff dragged up that is possible because there's an awful lot of things and energies going on, right? You can uh, hear about that in the other video, the reading on that. And uh, Anywho, this is your reading. I hope it resonates with you. Please let me know in the comment section. And uh, please like and uh, subscribe if you, if, you, if you, of course, like it and you like my style, etc. And if you haven't subscribed just yet. And thank you for watching. And see you next time. I'm moving to the number three. Number three, all right, here's your reading. Uh, card concerning the full moon, surrender to effortlessness. And the meaning is stop pushing so hard. The art of living means going with the flow instead of trying to force the river. This is especially during the time and now the build up towards as well and during the time of the full moon. Because of all these energies that are going around during the full moon and the uh, total lunar eclipse. I recorded a video on that separately. If you want to know more about it, everything that will be going on, then please watch that. I will link to it in the description box for you. So for you, it's important that you just relax. Don't uh, push or try to force anything. Just go with the flow, right? So surrender to effortlessness. And I actually like that image, just being on the swing and having fun and... Ah, cool. This one is more t uh, related to the uh, lunar eclipse. Surrender to your intuition. Tune into your inner voice. Be aware of any gut feelings, flashes, uh, knowings or aha moments that come through to guide you. Now, actually, a lunar eclipse makes it more difficult to tune into your feelings uh, and intuitions and the gut, uh, the flashes and the gut feelings, etc. Because then, uh, the moon is then uh, in the dark, right? Meaning it also uh, makes it more difficult to get in touch with the feelings, which is what the moon is all about. Somehow, yet, I do still feel that you might get a lot of intuitions, intuitive uh, singies during the uh, uh, eclipse. I don't know why, but yeah, I wonder if that's going to be true. I'd like to hear that afterwards, you know, if, if that was actually true. I think for you, and maybe not all of you, but I think for many of you, you actually are going to be very, 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 very intuitive during that uh, time. And you might not be able to tell, it depends on where you live, because for some of you it's going to be during the night, for others it's during the day. So you might be at work, you might not notice either, but if you do... Please let me know afterwards if you indeed did have this increased intuition uh, during the eclipse, right? I mean, which lasts a few hours from beginning to end. Uh, right, moving on to your tarot cards. We have the uh, strength card. And I only use the uh, major arcana cards. This is a, basically a life lesson that you're going through. Uh, at this moment in your life, but that is enhanced now by this eclipse and uh, the full moon, but mostly the eclipse, because that's mostly about that, the bigger things that are going to come the couple next couple of months. And this is about not being, being balanced on the inside, not being controlled by and run by your ego so much anymore, being balanced, being able to... Um, well, even if you still have that ego, and we all do, still stay connected to your inner knowing. And yeah, and 
far more balanced and quiet and feeling good is really beautiful. And I think you have worked quite hard uh, towards reaching that in your life. So maybe you have always been really quite emotional, uh, quite up and down, but maybe, but then not not emotional but mostly because of your ego right because of uh low self-esteem not feeling worthy questioning yourself doubting yourself all that sort of shit which then creates all these emotions and uh, emotional roller coasters often because then we act we have knee-jerk reactions from the ego that's basically just it and it I, I think for you you are basically mastering or you have mostly mastered that so you don't have that so much anymore you're far more balanced more more like this a straight line maybe there is an occasional thingy like that but it's not like that anymore right far more stable um Let's see which one am I going to do first. I'm going to do this one first because I like that so much. Uh, this is for my Moon Oracle deck and every sun sign is in there as well. And for you, I drew one from the suns of the sun signs, the, the Leo. And I was really like, huh, okay, because we have a Leo there and we have a Leo here. You are the creator. This is a card with staff questions and statements that you can ponder and contemplate. Um, it says you are the creator of your world, yeah, right? That's right. That, that is true. You are the creator of your world, of your reality. Are you living from your shiny center, from your heart? Live the passion of your heart and be a true leader. The passion in your heart is actually better, I think, in English, right? So live that passion and fire that's in your heart and be a true leader, because that's what Leo is. Leo is has natural charm. He's a leader, and people tend to listen to a Leo and and follow him, listen to him, follow his advice and his lead, etc., etc. And you got that in you as well, then, like the that quality. And it, but yeah, it is asking also: Are you living from that? A shining center in your heart, from your heart. Are you living from the heart? Because you create your world. So if your world is not to your liking, then you likely are not living from your heart. Very important to think about. To, yeah, and peculiar that that came up, right? Um, going to the next uh, tarot card. Um, the Knight of Swords. Uh, this this is one. This one is more about you. And for this uh, position, I only used court cards. So pages, knights, queens, and kings. And you have the knight of swords, and that is uh, about being fast, a bit impatient sometimes, even maybe wanting things done yesterday. Um, yeah, fast. It's fast moving energy. You're not the kind of person who wants to sit still and and uh, just see who's going on. More like, or it's like uh, like that for you at this moment that you're going to be triggered to to feel and act like that right now with this full moon and the lunar eclipse. You want movement. You want action. You want to get things done, and uh, and and that's okay. But bear this message in mind. Uh, stop pushing so hard and uh, don't force the river. Go with the flow, right? And then your last card. Sorry, I have to push on because I'm afraid the video will switch off. Uh, we have smoking, smoky quartz, clearing negativity. Release negativity from within and around you. So if that's the case, and I feel that ties in with the Leo card, that you are the creator of your own reality and your own world. So if there is negativity, then clear that, release it, give it to God, the angels or whatever, or do a ritual, do some smudging with sage and uh, or anything else that you uh, know of and try to get rid of it that way. And that will help you, right? So... Um, I like that card a lot, actually. I hope it resonates with you. I hope you liked it. And, um, yeah, it's really beautiful. Beautiful cards with that Leo twice. 
having two Leos. Wow. I think you have a very powerful energy. I wonder if you are a Leo or have Leo influences in your chart. Maybe also Earth because of the Page of Pentacles. I never do that astrology shit anyway, but <laughs> sometimes it just happens to come up. <laughs> Anyhow, um, yeah, I hope it resonates with you. Please let me know. And um, I'll see you again soon with another reading. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.